Hospital acquired infections are America's dirty little secret. Each day, about one in 20 of the individuals admitted to a hospital in the U.S. will acquire an infection. This is a frightening statistic. However, what's even more frightening, 100,000 people will die from hospital-associated infections each year in the United States. So the problem is pretty substantial. It's the fourth leading cause of death, kills more individuals than HIV and breast cancer combined, yet there's no telethon, there's no fun run, there's nothing. Through the generosity of the United States Department of Defense, we conducted a trial asking a very simple question. Would the limited placement of antimicrobial copper surfaces on common objects that are frequently touched by patients, healthcare workers, and visitors actually limit or lower the risk of acquiring a hospital-associated infection? We were seeking to claim we kill specific bacteria. We had to prove it to the satisfaction of the EPA. And we went through a very, very rigorous testing process and at the end of that process, they allowed us to make claims about the bacteria we tested. Basically, we killed 99.9% .9 of them within two hours. It indeed did lower that risk of acquiring infection insofar as it was in double digits. That's pretty remarkable. What excites me the most is we proved it worked in the laboratory. We proved it to the regulatory people, and now we've proven it in the clinical trials. I, the deciding part now is to get people to use it and have it improve uh, the uh, reduce the transmission of infections in society overall and save lives. We looked at this as a win-win situation. Uh, we can help the Ronald McDonald House, the families that stay here, and the children, and it can help us get people to make commercial product and showcase them and use it as a model going forward. We are so excited and, and, and I cannot tell you how much this is going to mean to our families that are here, to our staff, and our everyday operation. You know, at home we've done all this, this kind of protective, you know, isolation and then we come down here and you're right, all of a sudden we're with 50 people who are introducing new germs and, and we can't kind of protect our, our family when we're going back and forth and visiting. So by having this copper project, y'all are in fact protecting us. As a parent of a heart patient, when we left, our child has basically no immune system, and even the smallest bug was, was deadly. In fact, he had cardiac arrest in the ICU because of a germ that someone else brought in. The fact that there can be something that could prevent the transfer, because you don't realize until you have a situation that you can't afford even the slightest germ, that when you see all this, the people from all different walks of life coming in and out on a regular basis, they're all bringing something in and they're all coming to the hospital or back from the hospital with something. Um, they do great contact precautions in the hospital, but when you leave that, you can have something on you. So for us, we were just so excited that there's an opportunity because that just helps limit the exposure that we get because he does stay here on the first night when we have pre-op before we go in. Um, or we have, you know, we don't want to bring it to him. So it's almost like a life-saving feature for us. This uh, signifies the first time a continuously active material placed in the built environment facilitated a simultaneous reduction in both the bacteria on that surface and the rate with which hospital-associated infections were acquired. It's a success for us. It's a success for the children and their families. It's a success for the community. And uh, it, it, it's very, very gratifying. I'm an engineer. I've never worked on a project before where you could save lives, and this is that kind of project.